So, this is the greatest snare trick, and I'd have never guessed that this simple technique could poke my snare through a giant wall of anything, with ease. Find out what it is next on Music Surgery, with me, Dr. Bob. Hey you guys, quickly before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And don't forget to check out the Doctor's Lounge, my store, and the links to some great samples below in the description of this video. Compression, EQ, clipping, reverb, etc. All great techniques to try to make your snare massive enough to poke through a dense mix. But this technique is even easier and you won't believe the results. Here you go. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you two examples, both very different, but the same technique. So to acclimate your ears, let me just play this track for a second, and then we'll pop in our trick and your mind will be blown. Here we go. Okay, very uh, Rolling Stones type Cheryl Crow track. Now, let me pop in our secret here. Our secret, and this is going to sound terrible, but trust me, it's these little things that poke in uh, into tracks with frequencies. This is a timbali, and I've got the timbali with some verb, some compression, and some decapitator. Here's the timbali without all that. Decapitator is um, our har harmonics and distortion. Uh, again, Dan Corneff's wonderful compressor. And then some slate reverb. This is the non-linear reverb. This is a great setting on any reverb that you have that has non-linear. It's great for snare. Um, so with all these put in let me play our track again without it and then I'll pop it in and you'll see that just this annoying little timbali hit sounds like the ring of a snare but you have complete control over the ring here we go without with Amazing. It just takes the snare and pushes it forward with the ring. Let me put it, let me play it without and then bring it in. Or actually, let me play it with several times so you get used to how well the snare pokes out. And then let me take it out and you'll really hear the difference there too. There you go. Something disappears. Now, this is a great sounding snare without this, but all it does is give you that feeling like you would hear Charlie Watts or Steve Jordan play a, a snare that has a beautiful ring that cuts through the distortion of the car the guitar. So one more time. There you go. Simple as that. And listen how <laughs> terrible it sounds by itself. Let me jump to, this is a very traditional way of showing a ringy snare, which sounds great. Let me show you a different angle on a ringy snare that gives you a completely different feeling. This is a much heavier, dark track. First, an, I've already got a great snare. But let me play it to you without the timbali snare, and then we'll put it in. Okay. 
Okay, now with... Again, a different feeling comes from the ring in a song like this because the the song is making us feel something so much darker. It's almost like a heavy anvil type um, disturbing ring. Um, funny, this is an old project that I brought up and I had S-I-R verb, um, which I forgot about. It's a great verb. Um, same decapitator, same pawn shop uh, compressor. Let me play it, let me pop it in and out so you can hear the difference again. So many times something little something small that just grabs part of the frequency range in the song that you're not covering and just pokes that through everything else cuts like a hat knife through butter and separate control for just the ring of the snare amazing the tabali snare sample that i used is available check out the download link below in the description of this video Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below and hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.